Alright, hello everybody, my name is Troy Harrison Chris, and on today's video, we are going to be fixing SLI, uh, which is multiple GPU support, for Skyrim Special Edition. Skyrim Special Edition is a horribly, horribly optimized game. It only lets you use one graphics card, and we're going to fix that today. The fix is actually very easy, it's going to take a couple of seconds. You guys are going to need to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Uh, just search it, you should be able to find it very easily. Um, I'm not going to put the download link in the video because I don't normally like to do that. Um, so, yeah, once this is, uh, what this is for is, um, this is for people who are playing Skyrim with mods and they're getting performance bugs and stuff like that. Um, this will help you, uh, get better performance because it's using both of your graphics cards if you have two graphics cards. If you don't have two graphics cards, you don't need to watch this video. This is just for people who need an SLI fix for Skyrim. All right, here we go. So, open up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Ready? Alright, uh, search the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on SLI Compatibility Bits. You're going to take the compatibility bits from The Witcher 3. DX10, DX11 compatibility bits from The Witcher 3. So, you can either search The Witcher 3. We're going to be taking all The Witcher 3 settings, right? So, go up to Witcher 3. See how it says this right here? You're going to copy and paste that. We're also going to be taking the uh, SLI predefined GPU count DX102, okay? You're going to be using that, and we're also going to be using DX10 Force AFR. So, when we go back to the... So, you guys can copy and paste them from here, or you can just kind of do it with me. Okay, back into Skyrim. So, here. We got The Witcher 3. We've, uh, it, it should have said 000, and then you copy and pasted that in there, and then spam apply changes. Then we're going to scroll down NVIDIA predefined number of GPUs to use on SLI rendering mode DX10. We're going to use DX10 too, okay? NVIDIA predefined SLI mode on DX10. Again, down here, we're going to go predefined mode DX10. Force AFR. Do not force AFR too. Force AFR. Okay? So after that, spam, spam, spam. Apply changes. We're going to go over here to Skyrim. We're going to launch it real quick. I'm going to close my face cam. So yes, if you guys have a ton of mods and it is lagging your performance and you have two graphics cards, this will help you significantly. Um, if you are having trouble hitting 4K in this game, you should probably get a new computer. It's very easy to run Skyrim in 4K. Um, but besides that, this will also help you do that. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Load. Got this dude. The one bug, there is a bug with this fix. Menus, this, this uh, start, see? This is the only bug right now. You have to deal with this. Flickering in this menu. There's no flickering in the item menu. There's no flickering in anything else. But there's flickering in the pause menu. You have to deal with that. So besides that, we are locked at 60 frames per second. It's using both of my graphics cards equally and scaling up as it needs be. Um, no problem. Perfect lock 60 frames per second. No problem at all. Hope you guys can hear me right now. I don't know why I don't hear the audio from Skyrim. Uh, oh well, not going to worry about it. So if you see up top, it says 70%, 68%. It's equal usage between both of my cards. So, uh, if you guys are going to put in the comments, But Troy, you didn't make it go all the way to 100%. Yeah, idiot, I know that. Skyrim has a 60 frame lock, and it is impossible to unlock the frame rate and have it go anywhere higher than 60, okay? So, this is just a way to get to 60. If you have a bunch of mods and you're dipping below 60, this will help you. And so as your GPU memory goes up, um, the, so will the GPU usage and your clock rate. But if it, if it can lock it at 60, it's going to sit around like whatever percent it needs to be at, okay? Does that make sense? A lot of people like to comment that on my videos, but it's like this game, you cannot disable VSync, okay? So this will fix it. Um, if you have a ton of mods and it's lagging your performance... Um, you should see uh, your GPU usage go up a lot higher than what mine is right now. I currently have no mods installed. I'm just playing at 4K ultra settings, everything maxed out in normal Skyrim without AA. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I will also test this with a couple of mods uh, to see how much that GPU usage goes up. But besides that, that is your SLI fix for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Edition, or Special Edition. I don't know why Bethesda uh, is so lazy about SLI. But it's starting to become a trend with a lot of game developers these days. So if this helped you a lot, leave a like. 
subscribe. I have a ton of SLI fixes for different games. Um, if you are just a person with uh, two graphics cards, it would be helpful just to follow my channel just for those. Um, I have one for Dirt 4, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, what's that? Uh, Quake Champions. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. So yeah, head over, look for more SLI fixes if that's what you are interested in. Besides that, I have a ton of 4K gaming content. Reviews, news, gameplay, all that sort of stuff. All in 4K. High resolution, high bit rate. And yeah, that's the SLI fix. Perfect scaling between the two GPUs. That's it. 60 frame lock. If you guys are having trouble running Skyrim with mods or trying to get Skyrim to play in 4K, this will help you significantly. Besides that, my name is Troy Harrison Christ. That's the end of the video. Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, do whatever you want. That's the end. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching. All right, my name is Troy Harrison Christ. I'm out of here.